So we started this class by talking about forces, and forces specifically being an interaction between two charges. So we can say these forces describes an interaction. And for our electric force, this was pretty nice, but pretty quickly we said that we wanted to have something that could describe a bunch of different points and describe a bunch of different things in space. So we wanted something to describe all space and multiple charges and all sorts of things like that. So we very quickly developed into ourselves the electric field. So with this electric field, we have a connection between the two of the force is equal to Q times the electric field. And of course, we can divide that as well. So we can also say that E is equal to F over Q. So that's how we start with this, right? We have force and electric field. And then in that first class in mechanics, we decided that there was another way of looking at things that was sometimes more convenient than forces. And we was called this energy. So we've just recently learned about potential energy for electricity, but we learned it also in, mechanical, uh, in mechanics. And we learned that right our potential energy was equal to negative integral f dot ds. So we have a connection between our potential energy and our force in this way. Well, as we look at this, we've got kind of three points of a rectangle or quadrangle. So we're going to have something that can also be a energy concept as opposed to a force concept. But we want it to describe all space. So we're going to introduce to ourselves V the electric potential, sometimes called the voltage. And our voltage, or electric potential, can be defined as the relationship between these, as U is equal to QV. We can also say that V is equal to U divided by Q. So if we look at this equation, then, we could divide U by Q, and we could divide all this by Q, but we just really use the force. So if we do that, then we would get that V is equal to the negative integral of E dot dS. And from that, then, we have our connection between these two. So now we have a full quadrangle of all of the different ways that we can relate our four different concepts for electric force. And right, we now have introduced this voltage. We might have heard of voltage or electric potential before in terms of batteries, in terms of electric wires and things like that. Voltage is a very, very useful concept, and that's why we're using it, and that's why we now have all four of these.